So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over a handout uh, called Practice What You Know. It, it goes into DNA, RNA, and um, how to go from DNA to RNA to figure out, and also how to figure out how the amino acids are produced. Uh, I'll do a second video on actually using something called a codon chart, but before I proceed, let me show you my uh, cool tie that my wife gave me. So, all right, yes, DNA all the way. So this is the handout. I've already done some screenshots of the answer key, so I'm going to show that at the end of the video. And I'm going to bring up some certain th certain parts on it where I want to write on it. For example, um, right now, I want to focus on this page. Now, I will have the key filled out, but I'm gonna, I'll fill out a couple of these. And let me get my... While I'm fil filming this, I'm going to be stepping away from the computer to the right on the board, so you may not hear me. So first, take a look at this DNA. The whole process is called transcription. DNA is transcribed. RNA over here is translated. So I'm going to just write in a couple of base pairs. Uh, remember you have your letters here. The biggest mistake people make is they don't know when to base pair and when to use uracil. So I'm going to I'm going to fill this out. So what we'll the thymine is pairs up with adenine, guanine. Who's going to and cytosine are down next. So cytosine will pair with guanine, guanine will pair with cytosine, and then down here, this is the big difference. You can, you can have thymine in the DNA molecule that's producing RNA, as you see here. But when the DNA molecule has an A, that's where you're going to see the U. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out a, the first two code, codons, which means it will be six long. Each codon is three long. So this is DNA. We'd call that a triplet. I'm going to write the codon in. And later on, we'll talk about anticodon. I'm going to change the color here. Okay, so you'll see G goes to C, A goes to U, but T, which is DNA, is still involved, goes to A. Remember, the bond between these is temporary hydrogen bonds, just like it's hydrogen bonds between the DNA to DNA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch up things a little, talk about um, some other parts of the handout and I'm going to reveal the answer key and then my students should pause it and check the answer key for this particular handout so now this is the handout that we were just looking at so let's I'm gonna I want to show a couple things I'm gonna come back to um, this part right here so We'll go back to the beginning, but this is the last page. I want to point out a couple things here that I tried to um, use earlier, and I'm going to just write, use a write-on screen here. So follow the picture. Actually, let's do this. Let's make this bigger. Yes, we can make it bigger. Get rid of that. Okay, so where does it take place? Let's think about it. There's three processes that we really are looking at. Notice the breakdown. Replication, that's DNA making more DNA. DNA is replicated or DNA is transcribed. Now protein synthesis has these two categories. First, you get the message. That's, that's DNA making RNA. Then you do something with the message. That's where it's RNA and RNA. That's where you're going to bring in things that we call codon and anticodon. Now this is the last page of the handout. So I'm just going to briefly talk about this, and then I'm going to just do a free shot of each of the keys. And my students should just pause it at each stage. 
So here's the thing. Think when you think about replication. All right. When you think about replication. Mitosis. Replication is DNA making more DNA. And I have this little expression I'm always telling my students. DNA is constantly unzipping and zipping. It's going to unzip to produce DNA. It's also going to unzip to produce RNA. So let's we'll just kind of pause the video for a second and see what's going on here. Where does it occur? Meaning, where does the process, where does DNA replication take place? Well, where's DNA? The nucleus. Um, where does DNA make RNA? Where's DNA? It's in the nucleus. So this is going to be DNA only. This is going to be make more DNA. But this is transcription is when DNA makes RNA. And that's what you're going to see here. Okay. Translation is when a tRNA and a mRNA. mRNA is called a codon. tRNA is called an anticodon. And the product is an amino acid right here that you see here. Okay, so yes, yes, no. DNA is not involved in the actual putting together the amino acids. And we're going to go into greater detail and watch animations to do a bunch of things with those later. But um, has codons? No. DNA is actually referred to as a triplet. Some people call it codons, but uh, I'm going to need to wrap the video up shortly. So what I'm going to do is just, all right, here's just codons for transcription, but codons and anticodons for this one. So what I'm going to do is just pause the video for a second. Let me just close this. And so this, let's just do this. Here's page one. Pause the video and check your answers. Page two. Pause the video. Um, we can make it a little bit bigger. Let's go back to one. Make this a little bit bigger. There's one. Again, you can pause the video as we go along. Page two. My students are knocking on the door to get in. So there's page three. Pause. And there's page three. So pause the video, and this is the way to check your answers.